Good morning, welcome to Factotum Life. We've got a gorgeous fall day behind us and that leaves us with one major thing that I have to do before winter starts and that is do our winter maintenance on the skid loader. I have several videos out starting about a couple years ago where I replaced a, uh, I did some dry motor repair, brake park repair items on the skid loader along with some other general maintenance and repair items. And in one of my videos for snow removal, um, I documented a situation where I had a engine derate code that popped up. And at that point when that occurred, it was about negative, it was six below or minus six. And so I brought it inside. I had allowed it to warm up. Really, you know, that problem probably was more related to the fuel starting to um, sort of gel up. Um, there may have been a, a missed treatment on some of the refueling that had occurred. However, um, I did remember that there was one filter that I have yet to replace on this machine. Every other filter has been replaced except for this filter right here. This filter is the primary filter that comes off the fuel tank. Um, and so if there is any sort of trash or crap that is floating around in the fuel tank, it's going to be captured by a majority by this um, fuel filter. So what I'm going to do today is we're going to go ahead, we're going to replace this fuel filter, and then we're actually going to crack open the old filter, and I, I want to just inspect it and see what we have going on, because by the inspection of the old filter will allow me to determine if I'm going to move forward with um, running the fuel tank slightly down and then draining it next spring. If there's a lot of gunk and trash in it, I may end up having to do that. Um, if there's not so much gunk and trash, then I probably won't do that. So that's a wait and see. Um, the other thing that we're going to take a look at, the hoses that connect this um, have the original paint on them from when the engine bay was painted. And that's all fine, except they are probably the softest um, hoses in the entire machine. And I don't want these hoses to start coming apart internally and clogging things up. And I don't want it to rupture or do anything like that. So we're going to take a closer look at these hoses and potentially replace them. I do have um, hose in stock that we can utilize. So that is about it. Other than uh, replacing this inline filter, I don't really have any other specific projects planned on this machine right now. So what we're going to go ahead and do, we're going to grease all the grease circs. And then once we have the uh, cab up, we're going to go ahead and just take a quick look, inspect it, make sure everything uh, is on the up and up. We don't see any obvious problems that need to be taken care of before winter comes. Uh, because be honest with you, once winter comes, I, I don't really have an interest in working on this machine because it has to be worked on outside because of the service height and the service height of my garage is, is less. So that's one of the downfalls with not having um, a facility with the height that you need. Um, you have to end up working on it outside. So let's get to work. All right, what we're doing here is we're just taking out these bolts that allow us to remove our service foot pedal area. Okay, I don't see anything too concerning in here. I don't see any leaks that... Um, what I'm going to just do is I'm just going to take the vacuum and I'm going to kind of hit some of this stuff. It looks like some rodents have been inside here. We have some acorns floating around and uh, remnants like that. So I'm going to vacuum up what I can and then uh, we're going to take the side cover off and we'll start addressing that filter. 
but as you can see here um, we what we've got here this is our drive motor that I had out um, on one of the first videos and uh, everything I don't know everything seems to be kind of hanging in there so we'll uh, we'll hit some of these grease points that are hidden and then uh, we'll get back to work Okay, we've cleaned this filter. I don't really like how dirty it is. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna order up a filter for it. All right, this is our filter in question. Got a nice zip tie. Zip ties are handy. I will say that. Oh, there's a fair amount of crud there. I guess we'll have to see what this filter looks like. It's a lot of crap. All right, we, we're not gonna put a zip tie back on. We're actually gonna use a clamp. Okay, I will be curious on cutting this open. Um, we do have a lot of particulates in here. It feels gritty. So this was the fuel that was that came out of that filter on the back side on the suction side. So we're going to just crack this open here. We're going to see what we're dealing with.
Okay, so. All right, so there you have it. We, you know, I don't know. There's definite crud right there. A lot of little fine particle stuff. Yeah, I don't know the history of when this filter was replaced. I don't see a date on it. My first impression here is that there is quite a bit of crud right there. And we should probably maybe consider running the tank down, draining it, and cleaning it. All right, we are all set. We've greased all our joints, all our uh, grease points. Did a, a little bit of an inspection on the underside. What I'm gonna end up doing is I'm gonna get some air filters for it. But we've uh, greased everything. 